What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the best Valorant thumbnail that you can, okay? So first of all, what you're going to need is Blender and Photoshop. Blender is free, but if you don't have Photoshop, it might be a little bit tricky, but I'm sure you can do it with something else that is free. What you're going to want to do is go down to the description, download the Valorant model pack, you know, credit to Rockland for the, the models, and it has weapons and models. Alright, so this is the latest version of Blender, 2.91.0. We're going to do new file, go down to general, click it, click the cube, hit X, delete, yeah, okay, so we're gonna click file, append, and then click this blender rigs. I've <laughs> random stuff, whatever. Rockland's model pack, agents, and we're gonna do jet for today because you know, uh, jet's like my most used. Um, we are also append again, texture so rigs, rigs, Rockland's weapons. Okay, and so we're gonna be using, I'm just gonna use like a random thing. Okay, we're gonna use the shorty, whatever. So this is the shorty. Uh, I'm going to click the shorty, shift click jets model i'm going to hit s i'm going to size this up i usually size it up to around here so that the light is above their head but you can size it to whatever you want just make sure it's not sized up to like this because that's like skyscraper okay so like so basically the reason why we size them together is so that the shorty is sized properly in proportion to jet first of all i'm going to get the shorty in jet's hand okay this is very important so i'm going to hit shift a i'm going to create an empty plane axis and we have our empty here. I'm going to click the shotgun. I'm going to control click the empty, control P, and keep transform. We're gonna go down to here, object constraints. We're going to do relationship child of, target. We're gonna click the eyedropper and uh, we're gonna click the jet model, okay? Make sure that it's the skeleton though. You wanna see scalemesh.ao and not MO because MO is the actual model. And then go to bone. And then I usually do R underscore hand as the bone. And as you can see here, it's locked in, right? I'm going to hit R. I'm going to hit Y twice so that it rotates on this axis. And then I'm going to hold control so it's incrementing. I'm going to hit G, Y, Y. Move it a little bit. I'm going to click on the rig. I'm going to go up here, pose mode. We're just going to pose it. So R, Z, Z, and then I'm just going to line this up real quick. Alright, so I kind of, I posed the shorty a little bit. What we're going to do, we're going to click the camera. I'm going to set this to like 15 focal length. So to get the camera here, we hit control alt numpad zero. I'm going to hit G, Z, Z, and then move it a little bit closer. I'm going to move it down as well by hitting G, Z, and then now I'm going to click on the, the rig again. I'm just going to pose it some more, and then we'll get to lighting. All right, so I posed Jet a little bit more. Now what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go into the camera, we're gonna hit Z, we're gonna hold Z, and we're gonna go to Material Preview. And so now we can see the eyes and the textures on the eyes. So I'm just gonna move the eyes like, like this, like this. All right, now I think I'm gonna just like move like the eyelids up. I usually do this, just like move the eyelids up, just like experiment with like the facial expression and, and then you can get like a more emotive, you know, thumbnail. So if you've rotated your camera like mine, by the way, and uh, you, if you hold middle click to move out of it uh, and it's like rotated, just hit numpad one and then just uh, go out of it. Very simple pose. Okay, so we'll use this. So we'll hold Z again, rendered, and hold shift A. I'm just gonna make a light. I'm gonna change this to like two, let's say 500 actually. I'm gonna change the render engine to cycles actually as well. Uh, go to film, transparent, color management, medium high contrast. And then let's see. All right, now lighting is not too difficult. I'll actually make like a different view. All right, so once you have your, you know, desired lighting or whatever, which I have, you know, I, I changed the pose a little bit. You know, lighting takes a very long time. Okay, I like this lighting. I'm going to change the colors a little bit, actually. I like to have uh, my backing lights uh, as uh, like two different colors usually. I usually go with, I'm going to go with this like pastel blue for this. I'm going to go for like a orange, I think. Blue is not really shining. Hold on. Let's see, move this up a little bit as well. 
All right, also we're going to go to uh, view layer properties, denoising data, then compositing, use nodes. Hit shift A, click search, denoise. We're just gonna plug noisy image into image, denoising normal into normal, and denoising albedo into albedo. I think that's how you say that. Go up to render, render image. And we're just gonna render this out and then put it into Photoshop. All right, that took a minute. Image and then save as, and just save that wherever, and then we're gonna put that in Photoshop. So I have my thumbnail border pulled up here. I'm just gonna drag my image in. All right, so we have the image pulled in. I'm going to hold Alt and click it, and that'll resize it a little bit. I'm actually gonna move it to the left a little bit. I'm gonna just rotate it, bit down a little bit. So what we need to do is find a background. So you can really do anything. I'm searching a Valorant map. I usually, I like to keep like a uh, Valorant background to have uh, behind and then just blur it. So go to tools, click large for the size, and then it'll give you the highest resolution. Right click it, copy image, and then we're just gonna paste it in here. Put it below jet, and resize it a little. That looks good to me. I'm going to click down here. Uh, I'm gonna go to lev uh, levels. I'm gonna lower this so it's like darker. Also, I'm gonna go to filter stylize oil paint or jet and you know you can copy these settings 1 1.4 1.8 2.4 and then i disable lighting because it's annoying uh, and basically what that does if we look really closely it gets rid of the uh like really rough edges so it'll like just kind of anti-alias it i guess you could say i don't need to do it for the background i guess because it doesn't really matter we're just gonna put a gaussian boy on this like five what we're gonna do we're going to Put brightness and contrast, right click it, create clipping mask. Basically, these effects will only apply to jet now because it's on a clipping mask. 20, yeah, 20. For contrast, we're just gonna lower it to like 30. That looks good, I think. Second of all, I'm gonna put a vibrance on it and change it to like 15. And then last of all, I'm going to change the color balance a little bit, I think. So shadows, I'm gonna start with shadows. And uh, I'm gonna add brightness and contrast, brighten it, and then contrast it. We want the background to look similar to the to the character. So I'm going to also add color balance to make it look similar. Uh, I'm also going to change the color of my thumbnail border. Uh, that's actually kind of dark. I'm gonna make this brighter. I'm going to double click it, add a gradient overlay. That's not the right gradient. All right, and now I'm just gonna add like a uh, inner glow, I think. All right, scratch that. We're just gonna use this blue one because it looks good with our orange. To get the little glow effect, I'm going to add a new layer. I'm gonna add screen, and then I'm going to add a uh, orange. I'll just name it orange glow. I'm just gonna paint around the edges. We're gonna, we, we drew that along the right side. I'm gonna put that to 80. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna make another layer. Let's the opacity to 80 again. Screen. And I'm gonna make it blue this time. Now I'm gonna just run it along the edge again. Yeah, and that looks pretty good to me. It's kind of excessive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a mask and then go to my gradient. I'm gonna change this to foreground to transparent black and white, and then gonna just kind of mask it out a little bit because it's, it's kind of heavy, you know, it's kind of kind of heavy. There, that's better. That's a lot better, actually. Uh, I'm also going to do this on the orange color, just just a tad bit because it's kind of. And now what we want to do is double click on jet, um, click inner glow is just a 90 again, and we'll just change the size a little bit. I'll do 15 for this. I think 15 looks pretty good. I'll add a drop shadow. And this is looking really good. So I'll add an outer glow as well. I don't want to make this outer glow like super, super like bright. So I'm just going to make it like that. Like 25 opacity, 15 size. We're just going to like draw over this like some more, honestly. No, actually, we're going to do screen and then we're just going to paint over the eyes. I actually like to do this because it makes it, it makes the eyes look a lot better.
Then I will just lower the opacity and I will blur it. Blur it to like 6, 6.5. And basically that just makes the eyes look a little bit brighter. What I'll do as well, this is kind of like very small touch. I like to add like some lip shine, like some lip gloss. I don't know why, I just like to do it though. And then just blur that in. And we can put that on color dodge. You know, it looks a little brighter. Uh, put it on like 85. Nah, it's kinda strong. 75. That looks good. We're just gonna group this up for now. I'll just, uh, I shift click all of this. Folder, you know, group, uh, we'll call this, uh, jet. I usually call it jet. We're gonna spruce up the background a little bit because right now it's pretty dry. So I'm gonna make this kinda brighter, contrast it more. I wanna add something more to jet, actually. Adding little rose cheeks, so goofy. <laughs> Blur it. Yeah, that looks good. Honestly, I think it's funny. I'm gonna go to my trusty friend Google again. We're gonna search up uh, anime, anime lightning, PNG. Uh, we're gonna go to tools. Uh, just go to color transparent, and then we can find one that's like actually good. Yeah, so I'll change that to screen just to, uh, you know, make it a little bit cleaner. I think what we'll do is create a clipping mask, and then I kind of want to see what this will look like. That actually looks kind of sick. Ooh, if I make it hard light, it actually looks really good. We're gonna add vibrance to that, just to make sure it's juicy. I'm gonna add like some, you know, like a background, like kind of mist to it. To make it have more power. lower the opacity like 60 and you know it just gives it a nice little glow i'm gonna double click the lightning i'm gonna add an inner glow as well uh let's go size large i'm gonna just add this like dust i'm gonna blur it i'm gonna add like a radial blur i think this we're going to make like a, a glow right beneath jet This is without it, this is with it. I say that it adds to it. Uh, I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit, 80 opacity. Now we're gonna add the text. I use the Mr. Beast font, Comica Axis, but you can use whatever. You can use Helvetica, you can you can use Arial. The reason I use Comica Axis, Comica Axis though, is because it is a very like big font and it's attention grabbing. So I'm gonna put, um, how to make I'm gonna double click this for the you know effects and what I'm gonna do add a gradient overlay uh, I'm gonna add inner glow I like this blue I'm gonna add an outer glow as well blue will look really good on that is I'm gonna hold alt click effects and then drag it to this other one and there uh, now we have two Hit Control Alt Shift E, and that'll make you a copy of all of the things grouped together. So what we'll do is hit Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and then we will just edit this to make it look uh, good. So I'll change the temperature, make it. You can copy my settings if you want, but try to experiment on your own. All of these settings here make a very sharp, contrasted, bright image. And uh, what you're looking for in a thumbnail is something that you want to click. So you want to make it very bright, very contrasted. And uh, yeah, if you're making a thumbnail on a 1920 by 1080p resolution, the file size is going to be probably more than two megabytes, which is the YouTube thumbnail size. What you're actually going to want to do is open up paint and put this into paint. Save it as a JPEG picture. Obviously, if you don't have paint, then you can just use Photoshop, but paint makes it easy. You don't have to like fiddle with the settings. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, comment below what you want to see me do next, and uh, subscribe or you're not going to be able to make the thumbnail. It is a requirement. I'm sorry.